All right, everybody. It's Game Thoughts Assembled, episode 10. We made it. It's a new year. Once again, it's Low Jack. It is Pro Brian. And we got a fun episode this week, man. Uh, Resident Evil beta issues. I can't read Japanese. We're going to talk <laughs> a little bit about some werewolves. We're going to talk about some State of Decay, some Xbox Series X updates. Some might be the best one yet. And we're going to talk about some... What do we want? What do we want? What do we not know about yet? What are some franchises that we want to get into? That's going to be our main topic. That's going to be the last thing we talk about on this. But everything else is fun, too. Going to get off in some uh, deep discussion on the uh, second topic. But let's go ahead and get right into it, Mike. All right. I, uh, everybody knows by now it's in the gaming culture. Resident Evil just put out a big announcement tomorrow, of course, after we do the cast. They are going to be doing a uh, a live event for the 25th anniversary, and it's going to be showing off Resident Evil 8, Biohazard 8, whichever one you want to call it, Village. Six, six, um, six. I'm going to be doing a live reaction to that on time, so if you guys want to see that, just look out for it on the channel. I'll be posting it everywhere. But that's okay. besides the point for right now. They announced the beta a while ago, like a couple days ago, and... I finally got into it today. It finally worked and everything, but it wanted you to link to your ambassador program, which I already had, but I I got them to send me the email the other day. And uh, I guess I can't say long story short, this is a cast, right? But anyway, I, uh, I, every time I would go onto the site, it would go to Japanese. So I was telling Mike, like, hey, man, I I went and I, uh, I put it into the translator and it would do everything, but then it just wouldn't work. It wouldn't send me the email. And it did that for like two or three days over. So I'm sitting here thinking, it's like, man, there's probably a lot more people that would have done it, but probably the first time that that happened, they were like, well, if that doesn't work, why is the game going to work? Right. You can't figure out the email. (laughs) Yeah. That was my thought, but it's just like, I I have to. If it's a Resident Evil thing, I have to be into it. I I have to see it. It has to happen. So I'm interested to see what that's going to be. And uh, just to take an extra second, did you, I know you've heard me talk about it. I can't remember. Did you ever uh, play Outbreak from Resident no, Evil or hear no. about those? I heard about okay. it. You've told me about it before, but I've never played them. So basically Outbreak is a bunch of side stories and side characters that were in Raccoon City as the Outbreak's happening. And it shows like the beginning scene is basically the rats getting everything and getting the virus all throughout the city from eating dead corpses and this, that, and the other. That's right. I think you've shown so, me that. That's actually, I want to say, how I know of it because I definitely okay. have seen that scene. Like, if that's a cut scene or something, like, I distinctly remember. All right. Something to do with so, that. As far as whatever this multiplayer is, they said it's, it's like nothing else in Resident Evil, blah, blah, blah. Most multiplayer resident evil things are to the major population not very good and i can see why it's cool to me because the umbrella operatives are awesome like umbrella core as bad as it was it was a dope ass fast-paced corny 3v3 with zombies and dogs and everything in it it was dope for what it was operation raccoon city other than the overpowered uh assault class that game was dope uh, the campaign itself was bad because it made a bunch of non-canon decisions and you're like killing heroes and stuff like that because you're playing uh, Umbrella Team. That was silly, but like it was a 4v4 with all the bioweapons and zombies inside Raccoon City while the stuff's happening. And you're trying to, the last man or last team is trying to extract in the helicopter after doing whatever the objective was. The concept was dope. Everything about it was cool. So that's I want a form of outbreak, but everything about the Resident Evil now, except for the multiplayer side of it. I don't want the glowing items. I don't want the bodies giving me stuff. I, I want it to just be a co-op Resident Evil experience where we're going through it together, trying to figure everything out. Limited resources, just like a regular game, but it's two people or four people working together. I want Outbreak 3, man. That would be amazing. So that's what I'm looking forward to seeing from that. See, I don't know in terms of it being Outbreak, but if you're telling me it's like what the Resident Evil I've played with two people, that's all I need to know. 
that's what I want. Outbreak was, of course, the original, the tank, sk- the tank control scheme still. Uh-huh. And it was still a, a puzzle game, essentially, where it's like uh, you aimed by like holding the trigger and then tapping a button. And right. it would like you could like do like this up and down uh-huh. with your uh, gun. But that's all you could do. So I want the third person shooting. I want the movement. I want Jill's dodge. I want all that stuff. I want the melee combat. I just don't want the extra layers and the glowy stuff and all that like they have on uh the resistance game because resistance is almost outbreak it's just they went too overboard with all the damage numbers and everything like that that's that's wild it doesn't belong on resident evil at all but i don't want to spend too much time on that because it's probably going to be a 20 or 30 minute episode on uh on that tomorrow anyway so we'll have plenty of resident evil content i just want to take a second to talk about that for sure I mean that All sounds right. exciting to me. I didn't realize that it's supposed to like I didn't realize it was possible that that's on the forefront of it. That it's basically going to be re with two people because that'd be dope. That's what I hope it is. But if they're saying it's multiplayer, they're saying it's Resident Evil. There's only so many things that can be in it be a multiplayer in that universe that Capcom is going to hype up. You feel me? Right. Like uh, most of the time when Capcom like releases something and like it's an offshoot of Resident Evil, it's like I feel like it's just like to get money from the super fans to make their better product. Usually they just kind of throw it out and it's like not under the radar, but they're just like, hey, we did this. You know what I mean? They've only done it a few times. So. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. I'm with it. For it to be an anniversary, the nostalgia factor, Outbreak's been being talked about left and right in the Resident Evil fan base. Um, it would be different. Resident Evil's about to get bigger than it's ever been with everything that's about to, just, that's about to happen now. Um, I think RE8's about to be bigger than RE7 was. Um, uh, yeah, I feel like just in general, <clears throat> like, I don't know, you kind of get that general uh, gist of the uh, the gaming communities like just chatter like online and everything else and i just happen to see like more than ever before like i've just seen a little more buzz yeah. i guess that's what i'm trying to say like i've seen i felt yeah. more buzz around re than uh i have in the past and so i feel like oh. there's some hype for this man like i feel like it's building yeah. just from these remakes being super successful like people have really built into re being into that whole culture and then taking in a bunch of new people because like i'm hyped for eight like i'm gonna play that for sure Oh, yeah. You got to play seven first. Absolutely, though. Like, it has to happen. Uh, You won't know what's going on. True that. Uh, More so than even finishing two and three. I can tell you what happened two and three, but seven and eight are going to be directly connected more so than the rest of them. But uh, I just, I'm so excited, man. It's like, it's my, other than uh, Dragon Ball, not gaming related, but other than Dragon Ball, it's like the only franchise of mine that is like still what it's supposed to be. Or at least for what I want. Right, it's still yeah, so, doing you fan service, yeah. Yeah, and uh, for it to be this anniversary, the room, the rumors of RE4 remake, like, there's a good chance of them being able to make me like Resident Evil 4. Okay. Try to add in I some don't like, more levels it's... of movement, kick some people. <laughs> yeah, it might be pretty cool. But it's just like, I, I just... I mean, I'm ready to roundhouse some motherfuckers. I'm not I want some in between though. Like right? I want to see some Leon training. Like like he he goes from a rookie cop and like really when it comes down to it, oh, damn I don't I can't ruin it for you. Let's just say there's stuff that happens that like if somebody else wasn't there he wouldn't have got through it. Let's put it that way. And then then like I'm supposed to believe that he's like the top FBI agent in the country for the president. Come on. I know it's Resident Evil, but like Chris all day, Team Chris, and it's really Team Jillian. But anyway, hmm. oh, that's great, dude. Let me tell y'all a story about State of Decay 2. Hmm. I've had characters in this game since when it, when it first came out. We've played way too much of this game when it was completely ass broken. I've watched it grow, I've watched it turn into what it is now. This is, to me, in my opinion, the most serious Series X update on this console. It's saying a lot, too, because, man, yeah, dude. there's been some good ones. I've played all of them pretty much, too, man. Um, all the ones specific, yeah, I mean. Yeah, I've yeah, been doing um, that because yeah. I'm trying to stay as um, informed as possible. I always kind of have, but, like, I'm even trying to, like, look into stuff that I wouldn't normally play just for channels. 
the channel sake because i want to be on top of xbox i want to be on top of game pass and i want to sure. show like what it really is and everything and i want to see i feel like not too many people are loud about xbox we kind of just play our games and we know it's better yeah because we don't um, have to, there's no bravado needed because everything's ha- working, everything's happy. You know when people bitch about why their shit's better when their shit's broke? Right. They're online doing, and, why uh, are you all, if, if your shit was good and you were loving your game, would you be on Facebook bitching about it? No. Because your console sucks. Right. Right. I'm going to get my uh, my POS 5 for sure, the digital version, whenever a bundle comes out, probably. Uh, I want to play the exclusives. I want to get on there. I want to see all the uh beautiful cut scenes and grade b gameplay it's gonna be great we'll see about uh, the second stimulus i don't know <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit drops maybe we'll get a the uh <laughs> the ps the ps will come biden buy me one come on biden yeah, i need a ps5 blue, Help. <laughs> they say you left china and all the masians <laughs> This is not after right. right. Oh, all right. Great. All right. All right. Oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> let me. Let me fix my tie. You fix my tie. I gotta be all buttoned up for this. As I say, fuck in the middle of it last time. But anyway. Uh, I'll get the. No. <laughs> Lethal mode on State of Decay 2. If you want to challenge and you just want to do something that's just going to be like, what the hell, I'm good at this, and it still doesn't mean there, that game will kick your teeth in now, and it feels better than it ever has before. And it's... um, All it really needed was a little bit of fluidity, some frames, yeah. some more frames, and then it needed to tighten up the... Uh the feel of the weapon hold and the speed of the down sight. Like other than that, like that was, that's really all it needed. Basically polish. Those last two things you said, it, because still. of the frames now it's, it's straight. It's still off, but it's because your character is, you know what I'm saying? If they're not a sharp shooter, then the shit's wobbly. Right. Oh, and for sure. And you know, that's something that pulled me early on. And I always try to be wary of it in games now, especially in first impressions, because like the skill chain, they really do build a lot into like the skill chains in some games yeah. to where it's like, man, where I feel like this is dog sometimes. shit. True, true. But, but I've tried to take the, with the grain of salt sometimes and get hopeful, maybe sometimes get my hopes up. I'm like, ah, they'll clean this up. But like some games, Avengers, like at first I felt like I couldn't do shit, but that opened up. It was dope. Uh, you yeah, know, we lied to you guys. We're not playing that shit. Nope. We decided we're putting our foot down. That's going in the COD category. Yeah. There sure. may or may not be some zombies content on the channel, but that doesn't count. Yeah. That's what they should be making. That's what, uh, not Treyarch, the other one. Yeah, Treyarch. Yeah, tre- that's the what. That's what they need to make. They need to focus mm-hmm. on just making that. And just don't make the COD game. Like, just make fucking... You, you, and you guys do zombies. They focus on the other. Then y'all can both try to do better. Or just, like, make another game that isn't bad, but you can't power slide. Let's not shit on COD to do. Yep. Positive. Let's, uh... Yeah, positive. It's a whole, it's a whole yeah, new this year. Because this is a sad... Not sad my 2021. Or wait. I don't know if that's how. <laughs> I think it has to be your butcher. No, your uh-huh. bull. Anyway, save to K2, lethal mode, characters, I've had them forever. I got them through everything, did every original achievement with them. Today on my first try, I lost an entire three-person team within the first night, I think. And then I was like, all right, so I deleted my other two communities and realized, oh, I can just get my people. And I was like, I was hoping that their bags were full of stuff because I've been using them, hadn't played in probably, what, six or eight months. That'd be nice. And, um... I was wrong. Um, so, I don't want to tell the full story because I want you guys to watch the video. It'll be coming now, probably next week. Yeah, and I'm but hyped to see it too. Like, want to so. see some people like I do my best. I'm telling y'all, I was doing the moves. I got some of the best camera angles on that game. Like I turn around at the last second, and the damn feral just jumps past my face. All kinds yeah, of dope ass shit like that. And I was, I literally like yelled a few times, like not anger, but like scared me. And, like, uh, I lost people, saved somebody's life just for it to screw me in the end. And my my character that I liked more than any of them got taken out. It was a great video, dude. It's going to be awesome. But, like, I 
I was going to do a hundred day challenge. That's going to end up being a joke probably because I think at the end of it, I lasted two or three days and then, then I got, I'm going to make another video, but I'm, I'm down to one person. It was bad. And you guys should all watch it. It's going to be great. I promise you, it'll be one of the best videos on our channel, dude. Because I'm just distraught when it happens. And I'm trying my hardest. I mean, I understand. Like, all time on it, on State of Decay, I've lost three characters total. And right. I've been careful because I just, I don't know. That's the type of stuff that stresses me out. Like, I'm excited to play that. But now I'm like, hmm. Weed's not playing. I'm not like we, weed's not going in there. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna send some. I think I've got like 30 people. So, volunteers to bring me stuff so I can make it through. Cause now I gotta find new recruits. I mean, I've got like I have a full roster of people that you can keep. So like I and I've got a bunch I don't care about. I just like, need you to get their shit and bring it into the. That's game. what I'm saying. Every single person I have has a full bag, basically. So, like, I take yeah. all my B-tier people I don't really care to lose, but that are leveled up, and we'll get them out, and I have a bunch of shit. Right. Um, damn, I'm excited to play that, dude. Actually, it like, sounds yeah, pretty good. All right. Now, switching to Zambles, on to the werewolves. <laughs> Werewolf, Apocalypse, Earthblood, Mouthful. All right. So this game is set in, I'm going to get it wrong. I just, this is the only part I didn't write down. Anyway, it's set in a universe where uh, werewolves are essentially the protectors of Mother Nature. They're going after an oil company, but there's like other monsters and shit involved as well. There's some kind of crazy ass demon that wants to destroy the earth. Um, go ahead. I, just, I don't want to interrupt, but like a first way question is like, how sentient are these werewolves? Are we like, is this like civilized werewolves? Like, it's like they're organized going after this oil rig, or they seem like they're more badass than the werewolves off of uh, Underworld, That's is dope. what I'm gathering, or at least this one is. Hell yeah! So, so it's kinda... it is an RPG stealth brawler. That's what they're calling it. It's a lot too. So you're gonna have skill trees. You're gonna have a human form that you do interactions and all that kind of stuff and like messing with buttons and this, that, and the other, but you also can like snap necks and you have a crossbow. You're still a Sick. werewolf, so you're strong. Uh you have a wolf form for like going through cover to cover, anything you need to get through small if you need to get through an area fast. I'm sure you can probably eat some throats too while you're at it. And then you have uh, the Krynos, or the werewolf form, where that is where the brawling comes in. You have a rage meter, essentially, that turns into what they're calling frenzy. And when the frenzy takes over, you can't block, you can't do any of your certain moves, but you get like a whole other skill tree of moves that you can do. You're dealing more damage and you're faster. You have two different stances when you're the werewolf. Uh, you have the uh, agility stance, basically, and then like a heavy stance where you're doing more damage. Think of a uh, uh, Final Fantasy VII remake. All right. Everybody, everybody will know what I'm talking about. Where you two like caught had the two different stances or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, this is the first game that, like we were talking about a few casts ago, you guys have been watching. This is gonna be that first double A section of the next gen. Is what I'm thinking. Um, it's it's got some rough around the edges things. It's got some things where the environments could be a little crazier, but it's only coming with a fifty dollar price tag anyway. Yep. Uh, it's set in a universe that's pretty established. It was a pen and paper game, I guess, is what I've been reading. Um, everything, the art style looks cool. Uh, it goes from like an industrial warehouse to like after the end of the fight, there was blood just splattered everywhere. Uh, it looks like it could be as easy or as hard as you want it to be. I'm sure they're going to have difficulty settings. Uh, it, it just looks fun. It looks different. It looks like the things that I'm not going to like about it are nothing that is going to be like deal breaking. It's just going to be like little, uh, like last, last cast, the immersion stuff. I'm sure there'll be stuff here and there, but, uh, the one thing that has me interested, other than the fact that I'm I'm really into werewolves, 
Um, you and your rage have things to do with the story. They said there's only a few different times where it actually like affects anything, but the entire time you're playing the game, you're actually trying to keep your rage meter at a certain level so you don't turn into the werewolf on accident. They're That's saying that it gets to a point where you can like get too mad and then like lose control of yourself. Sick. So I don't know how much they mean that or what that means, but there's a good chance that I might just try to do that just right. see what happens because they said like if you let that happen you may end up killing everybody in the room you're going crazy you go feral Fuck. so you might kill a npc that you don't need to or whatever so like that's just super interesting to me and usually like if i'm playing a game like that where i'm a powerful like beast or whatever i usually kind of if you get in the way you're, you're wrecked you know what i'm saying so like right. it's going to be interesting to to really like role play into that i think that's going to be a cool ass game watch it guys because I'm, I'm doing the whole game i need you guys to look at it it's going to be awesome i want more eyes on more games that aren't mainstream oh, yeah. um but exposure. yeah uh that's the spiel what you think on that man i mean it sounds cool man my brain nubbed at the beginning like in my head i was just like how do these werewolves talk to each other to organize to go after these oil companies and in my head i forgot that like people change into werewolves back and forth and at some point they're not werewolves so there was that and that was the first awesome. couple of minutes of you talking about it was like definitely my brain just stuttering on like how that happened and then you answered it in a way that made like no it. fucking sense because i was dumb so... because i was dumb <laughs> So uh, that's how that went. And then once I figured that out, my opinions were mostly how that's pretty like dope. It. It, it definitely seems... Uh... Monster <clears throat> won't sponsor us. Sprite, give us a try. Yeah, something. <laughs> God. <laughs> Guys are stingy. All right. Which is funny because that... all my money. Yeah, a lot of it. Half the channels are in a monster. Probably more than that. All right. Yeah, twenty percent. Anyway, that was the uh, the spiel's and the, like the game stuff that is uh, down on paper. I uh, definitely want you all to check out the Hitman. We will be playing that starting tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. I haven't decided if I'm going to stream or if I'm going to do videos like I was saying earlier, but we're playing that game. We're doing all of it. I got some challenges I'm going to throw up for me and Mike to do. It's going to oh, be yeah. a fun time. It's going to be shenanigans. It's going to be funny. It's and also, be Hitman, not how, not yeah. how they think. Believe me, you guys will get the actual Hitman experience. I'm going to play it the right way as well, but you're going to like the other way if you have a uh, dark sense of humor, maybe. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it'll be great, man. And also, like I was saying before, look out for the Resident Evil. Uh, I'm definitely going to be reacting to that like a little kid with the damn candy shop. So it's going to be great. I know everybody's liking that tall lady with the big rack. Has memes and shit all over the place already. She's been in a 30 second clip. I guess she's a vampire or something. Who Weird. doesn't like the tall lady with the nice rack? I mean, honestly. I mean, yeah, even gay dudes like that. She's nice. But, uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. All right. So. We know a bunch of games that are coming out. I'm just going to run through them real quick. Like, we, we know that we're getting the medium. Be streaming that 9 to 12. Got to fucking pimp the show. Sorry. Uh, that'll come out on the 28th. We know we got Hitman, like I just said. That comes out tomorrow. We know we got uh, Mario. Look out for a full play on that. It'll it's be our 12th. Nintendo start. We got that, that on February 12th. 12th. Uh, excuse me. In between that, that is the February 4th is when the Werewolf game comes out. So be on the lookout for that, guys. Got all kinds of new stuff for y'all coming. Just had to yeah. wait. Back for about a month after. Um, and that is no back for blood's June. Oh, I keep thinking it's April and getting my hopes up. It's terrible. April is Outriders. That's what it is. Okay. But that was my first point I wanted to come to before we get to the main discussion tonight. All right. Do we think that it, that Outriders is really going to come out on April first, or is that a fucking April Fool's joke? 
Because if it got delayed, how it got delayed when it was supposed to be a damn near launch title. Just following the trends of the delays that I've seen, maybe it needs another year. Because for it to be multiplayer, if it's at the depth of what I think it's going to be, there's probably not more systems in it than Cyberpunk, but like, there's going to be a whole lot more enemies and stuff on screen that can cause lag and cause certain connections not to work. I mean, we know people are stupid, but these people aren't that stupid. Like, they just saw how trash Cyberpunk was. They just saw how that went. Like, that should have been a message out to anybody, at least this year, while those wounds are fresh, that, like, hey, like, yeah. this isn't the year to be putting out a long anticipated game. Not right. Right, wrong, yeah. or indifferent, whether or not they announce it. Like, I, the only th- people I've ever respected on it were really Fallout because they're the only people to be, like, open, like, hey, this is uh this is not coming out as it as it's supposed to just know right. that they're up front about it like if you're gonna be that but it's another thing of on, on the they exact still got put over the damn burner for it too right but this is the year people see those warnings like so like i feel like they would should move swift and fast on that if they thought it's going to be delayed i feel like we would already hear about it or at least that's the smart move they should delay it now and tell us but right. like, hey guys like you're not uh let's tell them early like it's probably not coming out then because don't wait a week before and be like oh jk six months yeah absolutely yeah i um I want it to come out because I'm really excited for that game. I want to really base the channel around it some, like at least for two months or so, because I think it's going to have that much content. I think that's going to be what Godfall, what we wanted Godfall to be, to be honest with you, if with yeah. guns and different powers. Um, there is a new Godfall update called Primal or something coming now, and I'll let y'all know more about that when I know more about it. Had, had, I didn't have the heart to look into it this week. Honestly, Godfall um, disappointed me more than anything of the last year. Yeah, for sure, man. As far as disappointment, just it was so high to fall so so far. Anyway, it's terrible. All right, so I don't, I don't know. I if it doesn't come out, then no, it needs to come out before the fall because I think this fall is going to get jammed up. A lot of stuff's pushed back, and a lot of people are going to be splitting their monies on what they're going to catch up with. Halo sure, is sure. about to be interesting because I think more people are interested in the multiplayer than they are the campaign because of five. But I think that campaign's about to be amazing. And the thing is, it doesn't matter because it's like everybody will get to play it because we all have Game Pass. And if you have an Xbox and you don't have Game Pass, you're doing it wrong. I'm telling you, dude, get it. Is it get the it. people that aren't? I hope not, I, people. You really, you there can't is. possibly. There is, you, dude. There really, yeah. there still is. That's why we don't have even more of the crazy ass games on there. Because if everybody had Game Pass, it'd be doper, even still. Guys, it's one dollar right now. Right now, I'm pretty dude. positive. It's a dollar. Go get it. You're a fucking Just do fool. it, man. I'm sorry. Yep, yeah, it's not for kids. So we'll it has more button. games on it that you would like than I do. I promise you that. Mm-hmm. I promise you that. And I'm talking to y'all. I'm talking to the audience. All right. So, main topic, main discussion, because the other two games are really the same category, but that's the main one that is important to me right now. What are the dead franchises? We'll start with dead franchises first. What are the dead franchises that you, and I'm going to let you go first, let you talk for a minute, go through your list and the reasons why. Um, if I want to chime in, you'll know. For um, sure, for sure. What are the dead franchises you want to see come back within 2022? Within 2022? All right. For sure. Number one main one that I'm going to come out with is like, and I've mentioned it on everything when they talk about, you know, games you want to see come out. Splinter Cell, man. I want Splinter Absolute Cell. I need Splinter movie. Cell. It's in a whole generation, really. It absolutely has. 100%. It, it, almost 10 years. I want Splinter Cell, man. Like, I need Sam Fisher. I need updated mechanics. I want to see everything. Like, there's so much you could do. And especially, like, if just for prettiness factors with the lighting that they have now and that Splinter Cell artwork. Have you seen Ugh. Wildlands? Oh, or uh, not saying. Wildlands. Uh, uh, Breakpoint. 
Very Wildlands, clear. same thing. Those are two yeah. of the most beautiful games on Xbox. Go ahead. Oh, slow pace with it. Oh, man, dude. I really, really... And I want it even slower, honestly. And, you know, yeah, I, I talk on that what I really it sounds like I wanted. I didn't realize I wanted it. But just as much as I want Splinter Cell as I apparently want Rainbow Six, but the, the real one, because uh, if there's a campaign two-player doing what I'm doing in Terrace time, bro... Like that's you don't even I, know, dude. Real Rainbow Six is so far from seeing. So I guess I call that a dead franchise too, even though they're saying it's there. Like maybe that's the case because if that's not in it, I want that. So it's dead Siege to me. is a close cousin to what Rainbow Six is supposed to be. But I could open doors in 1998. Just saying. Yeah, that's. So yeah, I mean that's the biggest one I really want to see. Uh, uh because I feel like I'm. All day. Because it the one reason it's the biggest, it's not because it's the one I want the most. It's the one I feel entitled to the most. Like that should that should already be oh, there. Yeah. Like I shouldn't just want it, hopingly like fanboy of something. Like I feel like that should be there. Why isn't it? What's wrong with y'all? You know, that's my Have opinion on that one. Already interject because you brought that up. It doesn't count when you put him in mobile games and you put our characters in Ghost Recon and this that and the other and say, oh, we have Sam Fisher. No, Sam Fisher doesn't work on Team Rainbow. Sam Fisher works by itself because everybody else can't do it, or the other team is distracting so he can do a thing. Make him right. Michael Ironside is old. Use him one more time before it is too late. Please, dude, you can even do the thing they do with movies and, like, train the other people. Or the two squad guys that you play as in the co-op stuff that everybody loves, or the new guy that they brought into it, have them be in it as well to pass the mantle so now splinter cell in echelon can be a thing go ahead absolutely so i mean like i said that's number one on the list uh, for the reasons i said like i said mostly because we deserve it we should have it stupid though we haven't what are y'all doing uh plain and simple the next one, you know, we've briefly mentioned before, and I've even seen, I know it's, I know there's buzz for it out there because I've seen the fan-made videos. Um, if you've seen the potential, we've talked about it privately a whole bunch. Give me Pokemon grown up. Give me not just a Game Boy game version of Pokemon. Don't give me a Switch version of Pokemon. Give me full-on, open-world style, uh, MMO, Dude, Pokemon so grown up with the gore. So Give me that. It could be two player. One person be the Pokemon the trainer. Like so much. Venusaur. Right. I want to see. Just give me grown dark Pokemon. Or at least an MMO. I don't think we'll ever get that. But I can't believe that nobody has taken the formula and done something with it. Because everybody copies everything. Everything is a rehash of something else. Right, no like, why don't we that. have Pokemon WoW? Like WoW, like WoW War, World of Warcraft, but Pokemon. Like, that'd be dope. That would be sick. I mean, I think it's because everybody's playing Pokemon Go. I think that's true. Um, so, I mean, it's not a dead franchise. I guess that one doesn't really count, but it's just That's like, a dream, for sure. Yeah, uh, but that's what I really, really want to see. Um, a dead franchise I definitely want to see. That's next on the list. Uh, My camera's having a seizure. Sorry, guys. I don't know what it's doing. No worries. It's not bad. Uh, um, that's definitely a dead franchise is... Uh, I want to see Ninja Turtles, yeah. and I want to see it Turtles in Time esque, but I want it to be 100% like Fighter Z. Like take Ninja Turtles, give me the Fighter Z esque animations and the movements in that kind of 2D side scroller. Give me that, you know, as Turtles in Time. It could even be a remake, but I'd like to see something new. Uh, give me Ninja Turtles, man. Ninja Turtles are dope. We they uh, capitalized, and we got the movies, I Did guess. But like, put... it's a huge amount of content that we see nothing from. They put one out. Like that's like the Power Rangers. A couple of it's years like ago. Thing. It's one or two years ago, 2017. Mm-hmm. Insomniac, maybe. Yeah, I saw something. The I think Platinum it was on games? Game Pass or something a while back, but it, it wasn't it had a... that. I didn't like it that much. It was all right. It was fun for like a few minutes. Um, I would just take, yeah, exactly what you said. That's what we need. Absolutely. Even if it's Streets of Rage art style, like yep. that would be great. I That'd be cool. Like that again. That'd be like, a, you know, like a, uh, uh, be you know, a, a, a second, you know, a second class studio, uh, 
double a game that i could see like a streets of rage version of it and that would make me very very happy right but, i mean i want in like, like i said give me a fighter z level art style like uh full in side scrolling in that format would be fucking sick absolutely definitely easy multiplayer have up to four people could you imagine dude like have the squad on playing ninja turtles like they are fighter z characters side scroll man i'd Raphael all day, brother. Bro, Dude, that'd be all... so fun. Like, oh, dang, man. makes me want to play that right now. Like, don't you want to go yeah, play that game? Yeah, great, dude. We got to figure out a way to play that. Right? Turtles in Time, we've got to do I'm, I want to stream that. That's got to be a retro. Um, All right, Let's so there's find that. It, we can do an emulator, if not on the PC. Anyway, we'll, we'll get no, into that. No, we can't. No, on YouTube. <clears throat> oh, but anyway. Um... So we'll buy one and the game and stream just that. Uh, Don't tell. Yeah. Next, because uh, I mean, like, so that one, big time for me. Next thing, and especially playing Second Extinction lately, it's like, yo, like, give me to rock. Oh, Dave, what's stealing on mine? I thought I might. I was thinking I might pull some. Like, You're a piece so... of shit, and I hate you. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so like I'll let you go in uh, if that's when you're talking on Turok. But I mean, duh, we want no, Turok. No, go for it, bro. Go for it. I, I got mean, plenty. second extinction, but just with like the weapon. We you know this is the coolest part of Turok: the weapons. Dude, the nuke bow and arrow. Just well, there's. I mean, there's a lot of cool parts of Turok, but man, we haven't seen that in a while. And I feel like that would be if we did a triple A, did it big, do it multiplayer. Every time, yeah, every time that Turok has come back, it wasn't Turok. It like just it wasn't Didn't up have to the snuff. Feel. Every time it came back, it just wasn't really, wasn't good enough. And if you want to do it different and be all whatever new and bullshit, like you guys want to change everything because you can't do the same thing again, right? Which they've started to do. Like they have started to do that with these remakes, like do true re- remake games just right. Some um, of them, but then other ones aren't learning their lesson. If you're gonna do that route, give me like. If you want to make it multiplayer, do me dinosaurs versus Turok's people or whatever, and we can do multiplayer. Or that can be a mode or some bullshit. But That'd like, give sweet. me, dude, give me Turok, give me Turok. Or in any of these dinosaur games, make Turok. You know, I said people versus the dinosaurs, and you can be either side. That'd be yeah, sick. like primal, primal carnage or whatever that primal rage, one of the two. Mm-hmm. But it's like it's super low budget, so nobody plays it. But like, I want that, but high, high budget, high fucking frames. That'd be awesome, dude. Like, and you don't even have to give the dinosaurs weapons. Like, they're dinosaurs. They're going to take shots. Yep. Um, have the the human team be more of them. Have there be AI. Yeah, definitely have it be, like, three to ones. Yeah. Well, I say, like, you know, 24 people, something like that. And, like, uh, say 18 of them are uh, humans. And it can be in arenas, and dude. Then, like one's inside a volcano, the other one's in a jungle, and just like you sick. know, and they're all fish bowls basically, but like you know, pretty open right. in that to where it's like you guys versus that stadiums, arenas, different places like that, but open, and then you versus dinosaurs, sick. Right, and then make it so where like the uh, uh, all the dinosaurs are alphas. They're alpha dinosaurs, so they're powerful. So like not powers, but like they're bigger right, right. or whatever. And then they have AI dinosaurs to make it more fun and better pacing for the humans to where, sure. like, you can be stalking while you have a pack of raptors or a pack of compies or a pack of whatever going after the humans, too. I mean, they so can the humans have predators, have to too. So they, like, they can choose to be different. I would say they can choose to be different dinosaurs. So they can be speed and have to worry about spinosaurus and other shit themselves. Like, it could be, cool be too. Like, yeah, like, I mean, there's so but much. But I was talking about do. for the arena. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, that, but yeah, yeah, make it an open world thing would be amazing. Like the Isle, that that game would have been dope if it would have stayed and been what it was supposed to be. Man, I was I disappointed with that. Um, yeah. so like, I, there's a lot yeah. I feel like they could do with something like that. All right, and then the uh, last one I brought out was uh, and I know you guys know I'm obsessed, but like, give me because I want other games to be like the DBC games, and I want DBC games to be like other games. Give me, and I don't even need any changes nothing give me adventures but it's dbz like i want a dbz game that feels like thor on avengers but with like all those type of moves that level like and that rpg 
Like, I know Kakarot's, like, a good game, but the control scheme is too complicated to be. It's not as smooth as that. No, nah, dude, mean. it's it's so much better than that game. You're just going to no, play it. No, it's a lot. Yeah, it's, I, it's want really it to be, I want a more casual version that four people can get on. Avoid stupid, damn it. I want it to be more casual with four people at, at about the Avengers level of complexity to where it's got that depth because that movement is nice. It's quick. The lock-on feels right. And if I could be doing that with you, me, and Vegeta, like flying around like Thor and shit like that, would be freaking yeah. the sickest game I ever played, honestly. That would be awesome. I could play that endlessly. Endlessly. Like, if you could just be, be go so home, like, fun, dude. Dude, just there think of There's so many it. times in Kakarot where I was like, where's that bitch ass at, man? We could, like, I'm flying around with people, let me fight them together. But Sands don't fight together. Now they do because they're super bitch. Whatever. Anyway. You can be teams. It's me and Gohan and Piccolo. But I mean, like, dude. It'd be so sick. And just so like, because Avengers, the way they fly, like, everything, they did capture a good feel. Like, when it was running, right, like, I feel like, especially with Thor, like, the yeah. flying, like you said, Hulk felt like he's smashing, like, there was a feel yeah, vibe that they the really captured well. The issue with Hulk well. is, like, Hulk can jump to orbit, but he can only jump 20 feet. He should have definitely had a stronger jump tree thing, like, to where, like, a charge jump, basically, like, just hold the button down a little bit before he jumps and let him yeah. jump way higher. Well, just, like, Thor looks like he's flying in slow motion and it's like Thor is one of the fastest beings there is in the Marvel universe. Yeah, I should definitely be able to have like his little burst mode should be like something I can hold down even. Like not just that little quick burst. I should be able to fly at that speed the whole time for sure. That would be sick. And there's a lot but like man, just like I said, that type of lock on, the feel and movement of the cameras and the lock on of the enemies was the nicest part. Like I felt like they did that really well and if I could just have like I said nothing more that would be the dopest game to me like ever even if it wouldn't be as cool truly as like a cyberpunk or like a uh you know a red dead where it's involved like that's just a game i know i could play yeah there's different pockets of shit though like i just know i'd never get tired of that Mm -hmm. even if they could make it bad it could be just as bad as avengers was like if i could just kill cybermen all day is that i just wreck them all fucking well that's what i was about to say too is like there's certain kinds of games where it's like i just want to get on and groom and i want to like listen to a podcast and play or whatever you know, not that we have as much time to do that anymore. Everybody is, is adults. I'm not even talking about just, like, people that make content. Just, like, when there are still those hour or two hours at a time where it's, like, I want to play something dope, but it's, like, I don't want to try to get into the story because if I do get into the story, I'm going to not do whatever I have to do today. And then if I don't or if I uh, am not all the way into it, I'm not going to appreciate it as gonna much. going to half-ass it because I know, that want the yeah. story. Right, because I know I can't, because there's a lot of times where it's like, we'll say like you work night shift, you don't even want to start playing your game sometimes, because it's like, I could have five hours, but like, what if in that five hours I get all the way into it, and then it's going to ruin everything, because I got to go to work. Yeah, Some like people if I end right like at that, that precipice, I wanna... like, I know I'm about four or five hours out from this boss, like, am I going to get all the way to him, and like, right then be like, I'm going to have to leave, like, right. I don't even want to do it, like, I'd rather play like, mm-hmm. an hour, put it down, and walk away if I'm going to do that. Fuck like, around, so, like, go. Uh, <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying, you get to the, it gets too hard. You're making choices, man. <laughs> Not making choices, like, do I really like this chick? <laughs> Pretty really much, but anyway. She was rude last week. <laughs> Level 10. <laughs> That's right. That is story of me right now. Anyway. Any more? Uh, I mean that's the mo- that's the whole list. Like I'm gonna touch them over again. So like Splinter Cell, like I said, because we deserve it because it makes no sense not to because it'd be perfect for next gen and because it'd be perfect visually to show off these new 30 series cards that everybody's so hype about for PC people if you want to play that like for so many reasons and because it's been a freaking decade and a whole console generation since I've had a Splinter Cell. Um, Ninja Turtles in a Fighter Z style because like nothing is really only Fighter Z has really come back to me and done like a, a, something like that and done it very successfully like basically 2D essentially um, but felt updated game, it's the only fighting game that I'll play besides Mortal Kombat at this point Yep, and I don't want like I said, I just want it to be in that art style for the for the yeah. turtle game. I want to clarify that, like I want it to be like Turtles in Time. Like I don't want to be fixed. And I'm not talking about a fighting game. I'm talking Turtles in Time, yeah. but in the art style movement and 
that sense uh, as DBZ, like the same way they capture that updated 2D, I guess is what I'm talking about. Um, what I'm talking about is if you have to meter burn the entire time, it might as well because you powered up. Be because you powered up. You, yeah, at least you know it's key. Like, like there is key. Like you know, they have key and they do use it up. So I mean, at least it makes sense. It's just a visual visual representation about like what they have left. I'm I'm okay with that. It still turns into blocks and meter burns at the bottom levels of online multiplayer on those games though that's why i don't really play fighting games but that's neither i mean that's why we there. don't play it as a fighting them, game i just like playing but... it mm -hmm. uh, i love playing them but what is competitive on them is not the way i want to play a fighting game kind of same way with shooters so you know it doesn't matter but as far as fighting games go i like watching the pros because that shit is a certain skill level and it's dope but the way that people play is absolutely disgustingly sweaty on a server like on a on a uh, regular just day-to-day -day server people on their grind on that yeah it's too sweaty for me like yeah now i have a boy like wish our buddy jamal and that man he'll wreck you on dragon ball fighters all day but uh and he he doesn't do all that dumb shit he knows how to get a, get around it but it's like i don't want to put that much time into a game into one game right. not anymore if i find one like that that'd be amazing i'd love it I'd love to have that again, but I don't. I don't know. I haven't found it in years. Uh, Siege was the closest thing to it, and it betrayed me. But yeah, it's back. It's probably in the best spot it's been in a while. But they're about to do something weird with that quarantine game. We'll see what happens with that. Sure. Um, and then wrap up the rest of the list was Pokemon Grown Up. Pretty straightforward there. Like we want to see it dark. We want to see it MMO. Like that's for me. Like Turok. Because, like, you're dumb, like, it's dinosaurs and explosions and guns, like, make those Do guns. it! Uh, and the last one, give me Avengers, but fuck Marvel, give me DBC characters. I'll, all day. I can find four people to play that game today, right now, all yeah. day. Definitely. Um, so, I mean, those well, are my hopes and dreams. Of... And by 2022, like, all that feels reasonable. Like, I didn't even ask for a lot. Like, I didn't ask for the dream game I always talk about. Um... What is that next? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I feel like it's all reasonable. I feel like, honestly, most of what I said that I really want by 2022 is what I feel like I should have already played. I can respect that. All right. No. Most of mine are dream game scenario. And the ones that aren't, there's no realistic way, unless they've been working on them in the shadows, that they could possibly come out in 2022. But give me Dino Crisis remake or reimagined, re envisioned something. I want that redheaded chick and her craziness back, or just a reboot of it. There's time travel stuff in it. They could do a lot of different things with it. It'll be awesome. They could uh, make it an open world game. They could give you, like in the second one, you're picking up items and this, that, and the other, and it was more arcadey. But like, I wanted to go back to the survival horror aspects, like Resident Evil, but keep the loot and everything like that that they kind of had from the second one, but expand it up until today's standards. Make it an open world. You get, you're part of a team. You get transported back to wherever that is. Everything's weird. There's a science team that's been there, so there's a colony, so there's supplies, there's weaponry and everything, but you're stuck in a place with regular dinosaurs that are feral, and you're trying to get out. That's what I want. I want them to bring back Dino Crisis. That would be the best thing I could possibly think of. Hell yeah, um, that'd be awesome. Do they get just like Resident Evil? Um, no way it would come out anytime soon if they started making it, but that's that's my first one. Uh, not a dead franchise. It's definitely coming and on the way, and there's a game that has to come out before it, but I, I would be so happy if Elder Scrolls Six came out by 2022. That would make me just the most happy girl in the world. Maybe. And, uh, no, it really would, because no matter what, I don't give a no, shit. No, I mean, I mean, maybe, broke. maybe 2022 is possible. I feel like that's further out just based on timelines and stuff. It is, but it's already been being made for like three or four years. Oh, true. But, That's um, okay then. And it's been on the list for a while. It was in pre production in like 2015, 16. Well, maybe so. Um, 
but Starfield has to come out first. They'll do probably a year of content on that. So it'll probably be 2023, 2024 before we see it. That's just like, just a, I guess that's like an off to the side one. Like, I want that game. That's part of the reason I got a Series X was because I was definitely playing that game and I want to play it on the best way I can. And that does not include a mouse and keyboard. Um, yes, I play stuff on PC now. I'm aware. <laughs> Most of the things I want, they're just absolutely not going to do. Give me Silent Hill. Give me Silent Hill. Give me the game that Kojima made that you assholes took away from us. PT was dope, but the rest of the game that would have been built around it and being able to use a gun and everything would have been doper. Um, but yeah, everybody, like, y'all know. Y'all know what we want from Silent Hill. That shit. Dude. That would have been way better used for Norman Reedus than whatever Death Stranding was trying to be. A uh, damn sludge mailman. Um, I know that's not what it was, but I was being stupid. Shut up. Um, man, it's really not that hard. I don't know what you would call it. I don't know what it would be. Just give me a Rainbow Six successor that is what Rainbow Six is supposed to be. I want some room clearing. I want some breaching. I just want the shit to be serious. I don't want any stupid jokes in it. I don't want rainbow colored shoes. Like I just want some tech gear. I want some dopeness. I want some polish. I, I don't want to scream that I'm reloading. That's fucking dumb. Yeah, like I don't want a bunch of points popping up in my visor. I don't want uh I don't want a, a crosshair in my screen. Like, I don't want any of that. Like I want a red dot to look through. And I want to check my mag to know how much ammo I have. I want to take my backpack off my shoulder to know and, and like grab stuff out of it. I want to stop and like bend over and open drawers and that kind of stuff. I'm guess I'm going straight into the dream stuff, man. Because I don't really have any other franchises franchises I want them to bring back. They brought back the ones I wanted them to. To me, and the, the ones that they're mechanic, not going to are here. To me, the coolest mechanic I always hear you talk about. Is that trip and fall aspect that you want to see in games? Like have, oh, uh, man. like I feel like that would be super cool. It's something you don't see realized anywhere, and it's something definitely dramatic. It would uh, make the importance of your speed matter more because you could rush people. They fall over things, you know. Like there's so much stuff, dude. It would be great. And Breakpoint is really the only game I've seen do it well, and I can't defend Breakpoint, but. It, it it did a lot of stuff like that that I was talking about. It just added all the RPG layers that we didn't need, so nobody noticed that because it was all broken and still pretty much is. I'm sorry, I look like I'm in a fun house, guys. It's just bothering me. I can't not say anything about it because I'm staring at it. Okay, I don't think it's gonna stop this. So if you're still here, thank you. I love you. Um, you look good. No, I know I look good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, man. I'm at a point where the things that are coming out, I'm happy with some of them. Like, as far as like what I know I'm going to play, I'm down to play it. But I'm back at a point where it's like, I don't know what I'm looking for anymore because I don't. I know for almost a fact the shooter that I'm looking for and the way I'd want it to be isn't coming. There are two games that are going to be in the PUBG universe that are coming out. One of them is the new mobile game, and that's one supposed to be another Battle Royale. And then that alien game that's set on the moon is in the PUBG universe, but I think that's just them pulling something out of their ass for hype. Uh, yeah. It's going to be like a Dead Space successor. I'm excited for that game. Um one of them that I was going to say was Fable, but I forgot that is coming back again. I never got to play Fable. That'll be cool. What do you um, do? I want a good RPG again. I feel like the only good RPGs to play are ones that I didn't play in the 90s right now. Um, we're, we're getting new Diablo. Yeah, but that's that's like a different category. It, it, it literally is an RPG, but it's like 
I want to, <laughs> I really want Elder Scrolls 6, I think. I know that a lot of like hardcore RPG players are in the boat of like, oh, Skyrim wasn't this or it wasn't that. Skyrim has the most freedom in it that I've ever seen in an RPG, man, for what I want to do. Like, you can just do nothing and do a lot. Every time you go anywhere, there's more to do. And like, the whole fact of you being Dragonborn only matters for the story. Everything else is just like, yeah, well, I'm a witch and i'm a higher level than you fuck off right. you know what i'm saying like uh the monsters are still monsters no matter what just because you have powers and that's cool like the combat whatever it's bad now but we know when the game came out y'all just started learning how to do combat the witcher 3's combat's worse than skyrim say it stamp it i did it yeah I, i'm really saying that the coolest thing about the witcher's combat was whenever the executions happened and, and until they did the update they didn't happen enough anyway um, Same for the show. <laughs> I like that show a lot. No, it's dope. I rewatched I, it recently, actually. Yeah. I had banged Yennefer before they took the hump, hump off. I like the hump. <laughs> Something to hold on to. Anyway, um, we are game up. What else do I want, Mike? Ah. Uh, Man, like I said, we didn't even get into the truth of what we really want, which is we're still talking about this gen games. You touched on it at the end, and it's the same thing I keep saying. You're like, I don't know what I want. Exactly. I want the game I don't know that I want. I need them to show me that. I want that to happen, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I need, they need to show me that. That's your game. It's a devs. That's what it means to be creative. That's what art is. That's what you're supposed to do. You guys are artists. Make me some fucking art. Show me something different. I've seen copies. I've seen remakes. I've seen, you know, studies of a style. But I haven't seen no fucking art. Right. And, like, if you've already... If you're putting a bunch of cobbled ideas together... And if you're lighting, you should be and able shit's... to come to a good ending. Yeah, and if lighting and shit is broke and I can't see your art right, then uh, that ain't art done right either. So you know, art, the mechanics have to be there. For sure. But yeah, I mean, that's and just conceptually, that's the game I want. I want the game that I don't know that I want because that's not my job. That's your job to sell me the game. All day, absolutely. I want an RPG that's co-op, that's actually good, that everything isn't uh, color-coded and glowy and, like, shit. You know what I want, guys? Whenever I'm picking something up, I want to pick it up. Whenever there is an item that isn't on an enemy, I want it to be on their body. I want to fucking loot the person's body and actually see that happening and get the stuff out of their bag and out of their pockets. I want to have to be covered while I'm doing that, and that's why we're co oping I want real-life oh. physics as a base level for all games. I think yeah. that's what we're saying. Yeah. I want real-life physics. I want to think about... I guess maybe taking the safety off the gun is a step too far, but like, I want to... If I drop a mag with five or six rounds in it, there's five or six rounds in the mag. They're doing that. I just want more of that. Um... A lot of the things is I like ideas and like stuff that they're doing in games. I just want them to realize them more. I just want little things here and there put into games more than I care about what is being put out. I think that's where I'm at. I feel that. Uh, Absolutely. I mean, other than that in games, you know, I was thinking we talked on franchises and I looked like I was thinking about different movie franchises. I want to see what old games there were, like what style. It's like uh, we need, it's time for that next new thing. It's been long enough since Battle Royale. And that's carried us really, truly, as much as we don't say it. Yes, open world, but that was that open world was really uh, pre-Battle Royale because we already had uh, GTA. So, like, we had Yeah, that. there's so plenty like, of open worlds before. Yeah, Battle, Battle, Royale. Battle Royale came to its peak. I mean, truly, that's what's been carrying gaming on. Uh, it's It's been the next page of gaming for the last few years. We need a true years. open world. Yep. Maybe that's the next thing, but that's what we need. It is. We, we need the next next thing because it's been battle royale. 
carrying that torch, I think, for the last three, four years. And the next gen's got to have something new because I feel like that's all we're seeing reiterations of that in your basic RPG, in your basic this, that. But we need a new, the new genre has to go. The come. next, next thing is it can't VR. Can't be fucking mobile. It is VR, absolutely, but it's not as close as we want it to be. We still got about 10 more years of doing what we're doing right here, if I had to guess. To me, VR isn't anything until it's in my brain. Right. I know that sounds like, that blah, 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 blah. Like, to me, it's... I want it to be... It's got to be I log in. The Matrix, I plug into the game, or I do not I feel care. that. All day. All day. Because in the, in yeah. the day, like, I, unless I'm super rich, I'm never buying a room. That I hang from the cables. I've seen like I just we just watch Ready Player One. Like I see like the low budget versions that for one I would never do no shitty version. Uh, mm. For two, it's just like I'm I'm not going I'm not going to do that. It's not within. The I want an empty warehouse with padded walls. Now maybe the only way I, exactly that the only way I see that being a thing is if you go to and bring back basically public gaming, the way we used to have a laser tag, the way it used to be like arcades, and then you Rome. go to You're never gonna do that. Shit. You go to a giant facility like a Walmart or something like that, and then you know high level VR laser tag. Fucking right, and that could be now. They could do that. That right giant now. warehouse with zombies in it. They have Actually, stuff like that. Cut like, that. Cut that. Sick. Copyright. Our idea. We're getting That's a business right. loan. You can't take it. it. We're gonna quit the channel and start doing that. Anyways, Bye. guys. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> See ya. All right. So, in closing, give us more immersion, like we were saying before. Give us real physics. Please, Resident Evil, show me something dope. Give me Outbreak 3. That's what we really want. More Hitman on the channel. Uh, eventually, we'll, fi we'll finish the Cyberpunk for the 11 people that are watching it. Every uh, time. They're doing it, dude. Hey. I'm going to keep on playing it. It hits right away, too. I wish you guys would watch it when I was playing it. That'd be cool, but it's okay. Uh, we'll get better about announcing when we're streaming, guys. Uh, I'm trying to wrap my head around making a good stream because I just don't want it to be a live version of Pass the Sticks. Uh, it is, and it is Pass the Sticks live, but I want to uh, build something a little better, especially for whenever we finally figure out whenever we're both going to be doing dual streams more often. Uh, when we do that, we're going to build more of a show around it. We're trying to build a home base. There's just uh there's no way to know when we're gonna do stuff so i'm trying to get the schedule better for y'all i'm trying to get out as much solo stuff as i can we're trying to figure out the duo stuff better a lot of content coming up a lot of games coming up a lot of news coming up thank you for watching thank you for subbing if you haven't do it do it do it do it we're not going anywhere we're just growing we're four away from 100 subs that's yeah. all I have to say. I'm going to let Mike do his closing statements. This has been Lil Jack. This is Bro Brian, guys. Got a sub. Got a sub. Get us to 100, man. You see the link we have to share. You've seen that ugly YouTube bullshit. You get 100. Terrible. We get a clean link. And we'll have to quit harassing you about subbing. Everybody will sub on their own then. But right now, we need you to just, like, just ignorant. Go on sub. Don't even like us later. But I need 100 subs. No. Yeah, come on, man. Do come it. On. I know you love, You know at least one other nerd. At least one. Just make your parents like, hey, ashamed. log into your, let me make it, I need your YouTube. Yeah, do that. Like, hey, log on to your Google real I'll quick. I'll talk to your mama. Hey, tell her private message, get in the DM. Ginger step, daddy. Pro Brian. All right, guys. Game thoughts.